Alrighty guys, it's Amit here and welcome back to Dev Dreamer. So guys, in this lesson then we're taking a look at images in HTML. So we're going to be covering how to actually include an image onto our web page. Uh, I know we've taken a look at that already, but we'll look at it in more detail in this lesson. We'll also take a look at how to actually include uh, different types of files. So files stored on our computer, um, as well as files stored um, on, on the actual internet on a, on a web page somewhere. And we'll also take a look at actually using images that are sort of free from any copyright um, as well, because obviously we want to make sure we're actually doing that. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's crack on. So before we go on though, you might have noticed that my theme settings here in brackets are slightly different. Um, I've actually got a, a dark screen now as opposed to a light screen. Um, to change it, you just simply go up to view here in in brackets. I know you probably can't see it because it's cut off with the uh, screen recorder there. But you simply click on view, come down to themes, and you can choose your theme from here. Now the one I'm actually using now is new on dark. Um, and I think when you first download brackets, you only get brackets dark and brackets light. This is the uh, the default one. This is the one that we've been using. Okay. Um, but to actually download more themes, you can go to file, come down to extension manager, and then you want to simply click on themes and then you can take a look at the, each different theme here um, and you can go ahead and, uh, and download it by clicking on this uh, install button here okay as you can see these are the ones that I've actually installed okay so let me just change that back then to the one that we're going to be using now which is uh, new on dark okay and now let's begin so Images. So the way that we place an image onto a web page is by simply using the image element in HTML. And to do that, we simply do our opening bracket and then IMG, which is short for image, space. And then in here, there are two attributes that we should have. One of them is absolutely necessary because it actually tells us what image to include. And the other one, it's not absolutely necessary, but it is actually a good idea to have it in there. Um, and we'll look at what those are. So the first one then is source and this is the one that is absolutely necessary so we do src for source okay equals and then in double quotation marks here we simply put our image in so the image that we want to use um as you can see in our folder at the moment then we've just got those two images um the logo and the toy story image let's just continue using the logo for now so i'm just going to simply select this one ddlogo.png okay let's just move this back up Okay, um, and then we can do a space and then the other attribute that we want to put in is alt. Now alt is basically short for alternative or alternative text. And this is the text that is displayed when for whatever reason the image cannot actually be shown in the browser. So you want to make sure that this text here actually describes the image that we're actually loading up. So here then let's just type in uh, dev dreamer logo like so. And then we close it off. Now, the image tag is actually a, a self-enclosing tag. It's one of those self-enclosing tags in HTML. So we don't need to include a closing image tag like so. Okay, this would actually this would actually be wrong. Okay, so it's just the one tag. And as you can see, we've actually got our image onto the page now. Um, you can see that it's really big. So let's do something about that. So let's just go into our style sheet, um, which is right here. And let's select the image by doing IMG. Curly braces. And then in here we can just say width uh, 300 pixels. And again, guys, we will be taking a look at CSS a bit further on down the line. So as you can see, then now we have an image that is 300 pixels in width. And uh, we can also specify the height as well because this is a square image. That's why it's all in proportion. Um, but let's just put it in anyway: height 300 pixels. So now then, let me show you how this alt attribute works here. So let's say, for example, um, we made a mistake in our spelling here. Let's just go for let's just say logos. As you can see it in here now, we have this alt text that we've put in here, Dev Dreamer logo. So whenever the browser, for whatever reason, can't display the image, it will display this alternative text. Okay, so we've taken a look at then how to include images that we have on our computer. And this image here is actually in our HTML folder. That is why we can simply reference it by saying ddlogo.png. But what happens if you want to actually include all our images into a separate folder called images? Well, let's actually do that. So let's just open this up. And I'm just going to create a folder in here called uh, images. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put all our images into this images folder. We'll put that in and we'll put this one in as well. Okay. Let's close this out. Okay. So now let's save this and refresh. And as you can see, now the image is not being displayed. And that's because this source here is incorrect. This will only work if our image file is in our HTML lessons folder. But actually, this image file is now in a new folder called images. So the way that we reference this image now is simply images forward slash ddlogo.png. And now, as you can see, we've got that image in there nicely. 
Okay, so that's how to actually include images that we have in our project folder. How do we include images from the internet? Well, let's go to um, Google. I've gone to Google Images and I've typed in Earth, okay? And in Google Images, you can click on this um, on this Tools uh, tab here, and then you can click on this drop down here, which actually shows you images that are labeled for for reuse. And then you've got some other options here as well. I normally just click on Label for Reuse, okay? And then now this is showing you all images that you're actually legally able to use. So let's just go for this one here, and let's just minimize this. Um, and so here is the image that we want to use. So how do we use this image and how do we actually include this into our image tag? Well, what we need to reference here in source is the image address here. And the way that we do that is we simply right click the image and then we want to click on copy image address. So let's copy that. Um, and now let's go to our HTML file. And where we've got source, we can now change this for this image address. Let's paste this in. And now if we revisit our website, we should have this picture of Earth. So there you have it. There it is. Nice and simple. So guys, let me actually show you now a website that I use to actually get images because sometimes going onto Google Images and looking for uh, images that you can actually reuse isn't probably the best idea because they're not very good. But let me show you a website where you can use images and it's called unsplash.com. So let's go to unsplash.com. Okay, um, and this is a really cool site, guys. I've got some really, really high quality, uh, amazing pictures on here, um, and you can actually search for them in here. So let's just do Earth again. Let's see what they come up with. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some really cool pictures in here. Um, let's just go for let's just go for this globe on here. Oh, don't want to click that. So we click on it here, and then you can simply click on download for free, and it downloads it to your actual uh, computer. Okay, so. There you have it guys, that is how to actually include images onto our website. I hope you found that useful, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.